What is going on everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here. And before we get to the video at hand, I want to have a little bit of discussion with y'all. Um, I went over to Jaguars United YouTube page. Uh, Jason uploaded a part of our podcast where we discussed if the wide receiver position for the Jaguars was a strength or a weakness. And there was a comment on that video regarding a deal uh, in my YouTube videos where um, the people were asking... Treb, do you record in your kitchen? Now, that is a question I get asked now that I record um, in this apartment quite often. Now, I just want to address that elephant in the room real quick. Um, technically, I guess I record in my kitchen. Um, it's a little hallway before you get to the kitchen. So technically, it's not in the kitchen. Um, and another thing as well... Um, somebody said, Treb really needs to work on his lighting. Um, Treb is balling on a budget 24-7. So, um, we're gonna have to fix that, I agree. But your boy is saving up for some good quality content, uh, for the YouTube channel. So don't you worry about that. Um, as far as the backdrop goes, can't really do too much about that because as of now we're just rocking with a webcam and you're just gonna have to deal with the kitchen in the background and as you can tell your boy did some dishes today and cam the crew douchebag who is also my roommate is gonna be very very excited about that because usually i wait till the last minute to do the dishes and i usually don't do the dishes as often as he does so everybody say hashtag congrats Treb on doing the dishes in the comment section down below and speaking of change i think that is what the linebacker unit is going to be in 2020 for the jacksonville jaguars there's going to be a lot of change in this linebacking unit miles jack's going to be going back to more of a natural position we're going to have a true middle linebacker in the fold and there might be a whole scheme fit i mean a whole scheme switch for the Jaguars in 2020, and that is the position that we are going to be previewing here today. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, this is the 2020 positional outlook for the Jacksonville Jaguars at the linebacker position. So I think coming off of 2019, we can all agree the linebacker position was one of the worst positions for the Jaguars. Now you had Miles Jack playing the middle linebacker position. At times he looked really, really lost. And Miles Jack is a player that I think Jags fans and Jags coaches really wanted to take a leadership role and really wanted to emerge as one of those players on the defensive side of the ball that the Jaguars could really count on. He was even named a captain for the 2019 season. You have that C on your chest. You know, the team and the players around you really expect big things out of you. And I think he played really, you know, underwhelming last year. You know, he didn't perform as well against the run. He didn't do as well against the pass. You know, it was his worst season thus far since being a Jaguar. I think in 2018 and 2017, both of those seasons, he played spectacular football. And I think in 2020, when he goes back to, you know, playing kind of that strong side linebacker where he was in 2017 when Paul Puzlesny was really that every down middle linebacker. I think now we're going to be seeing more of that Miles Jack that we were used to seeing kind of in his rookie season where he balled out and he played tremendous football. That was the Miles Jack that we fell in love with, and that's the uh, Miles Jack who, you know, can be one of the best players on this Jaguar defense. Now, could you imagine if Telvin Smith was still a part of this team? Damn, that sucks. That really, really sucks that Telvin Smith isn't a part of this team. You know, it, you, it gets brought up every time you uh, bring up the Jaguars linebackers. I mean, it's obvious now that Telvin Smith's not going to play, but, you know, it gets brought up at least in your head a little bit that, you know, Telvin Smith isn't going to be around. But, you know, I still think about it from time to time. This linebacking group with Telvin Smith, Miles Jack, and Joe Schobert, this would be a really, really, really good linebacking core but I digress Miles Jack is a guy that needs to step up and play his role he needs to play that captain role that leadership role and go back to his 2017 form and be the player that we know he can be be the player he knows he can be and uh you know really emerge as being a real big x factor on this Jaguar defense speaking of guys that are going to be difference makers let's talk about the newest acquisition to this linebacker room and that is middle linebacker Joe Schobert now, me and Jason kind of talked about Joe Schobert a little bit in our most recent podcast. 
Jason is not very high on Joe Schobert. I am really high on Joe Schobert. If you want a model of a consistency and a middle linebacker that has been doing it for a really long time in the league, no, look no further than Joe Schobert. I mean, you're not going to hear a lot about him because of the market that he plays in. And he's going to he's gonna get treated the same way here in Jacksonville, whether you like it or not. You know, going from Cleveland to Jacksonville is like from, you know, going from, you know, a terrible, toxic relationship to hopping into another terrible, toxic relationship. I mean, as far as teams go, you know, you're never going to get that recognition that you deserve, but... He's still a great player nonetheless. He's still a great guy nonetheless. Even though you've hopped from two toxic relationships, you can still be a great guy. And that's who Joe Schobert is. A real great guy and a real great middle linebacker that can hold things down. He's tremendous against the run. And, you know, a lot of people do kind of talk about how good he is against the pass. I don't think that's a strong suit. I think the Jaguars kind of brought him in, you know, for how consistent he has been over the years and how good he has been against the run and how much the Jaguars have really struggled against the run. And you look at this defensive line as well, who we will talk about, you know, more later on and, you know, as we dive in more into this position outlooks. Um, I think this defensive line is also built to kind of stop the run more in 2020. And you bring in a guy like Joe Schober in the middle, you know, this is going to be a pretty solid run defense and a big step up from where they were last year and the year before. And, you know, even in years past, I mean, this defensive line doesn't have a guy like Marcel Darius. You know, they don't got a guy like Calais Campbell anymore. But they still have some guys in there that, you know, their strong suit is more stopping the run. And that's what Joe Schobert does. Joe Schobert is a field general. You know, he gets his calls in. He makes in. the plays necessary that a middle linebacker has to make against the run. And he's going to be a good leader. And he's going to be the best free agent signing that the Jaguars make this season. And I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to have kind of that Calais Campbell effect. You know, you brought in a guy like Calais Campbell and that Paul Puzlesny effect. I think Joe Schober is the next free agent signing that the Jaguars have. That the Jaguar fans really just uh, embrace and fall in love with. Because not only is he a great player, you know, he did great things for the Cleveland community. Everybody that was a fan of the Browns loved Joe Schobert. And I think the fans are going to embrace him. The team's going to embrace him. He's going to be a leader on and off the field. And he's going to do great things for the Jacksonville Jaguars. And this was a guy that had offers from teams like the Baltimore Ravens. You know, teams that were Super Bowl contenders. But he decided to come and play for the Jacksonville Jaguars. So, you know, that, that says a lot. And there's a lot of, you know, talent and a lot of future here uh, in the Jaguars linebacking room. And now that kind of brings up to the fact, you know, if the Jaguars kind of switch their defensive scheme, you know, you got guys like the rookie Clavon Chase on, who I kind of want to talk more about when we, you know, dive into the defensive line, because I think that's, you know, more about what he's going to play. But if he does kind of do that stand-up outside linebacker, you know, rush end kind of deal, I think that's, you know, where he feels the most comfortable. And that's just another added dynamic that these linebackers have. As far as that other linebacker goes... You know, that's going to be kind of up for grabs. I think there's a lot of guys that are going to be competing, you know, for that weak side linebacker job. And, you know, hopefully it's not somebody that is going to struggle because there was some linebackers last year, like I touched on earlier um, in 2019, that were just duds. You had guys like Austin Calitro. Um, I'm trying to think about who is the guy we talked about <laughs> extensively. We talked about him extensively in the podcast that I had a lot of praise for. I can't think of him right now. And, I mean, you got guys like Quincy Williams um, that are going to be competing for that job. And, you know, hopefully whoever that guy is, you know, he brings a lot to the table because the Joe Schobert miles jack combination, I think, is going to, you know, add a lot to this linebacking group. It's not the strongest group on the defense, but it has potential to be just with Miles Jack and Joe Schobert alone. And that was my Jaguars 2020 position outlook for the linebackers. What you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Don't forget to check the links down below as well. You can like me on Facebook at Troop Talks. Follow me on Twitter at Troop Talks or follow me on Instagram at Trey Vaughn Pixley. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Click the bell icon so you get notified every single time I drop a new video. I drop new content on this channel six days a week. Ain't nobody outworking me. Them's just straight facts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, you guys have a great rest of your day.